TFNN Headline News Update Here's Tom O'Brien Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Conditions Hour at noon every day and the opening call daily newsletter. It's my pleasure to be here for the 9 a.m. update. Dow is closed yesterday at 26,656, about 300 points off the all-time high. The S&P was actually, the SPY was just less than one point away. But pre-market, we're looking at the Dow uh, futures up 16 points and the, the S&P E-mini is down one. So it's going to be an important session because there's just a lot of cross currents with uh, tremendous uh, number of announcements coming out last night, today, after the bell, before the bell, and tomorrow. So let's just go through this. We've got the S&P, which uh, closed yesterday at 2933.68. Uh, the all-time high is 2940.91, just an eye blink away. But we're going to watch this closely because if it trades under 29.25 at any point today, there's a good chance that it's going to be a fairly weak close. If it manages to get to the 29.44 level, wow, uh, 20, 29, sorry, 20, 29.37 level, there's a good chance it could try for 29.44 by tomorrow. But in the meantime, the QQQ, which is the NDX 100, is trading up 19 cents at 190.50. This is a spectacular move, all-time highs, really good, very strong candle. The, the, the worst that I would look for is maybe a doji candle today and a down candle tomorrow. But if it breaks into the 190, uh, it's at 190, 30, uh, 190, 48, whoa, goes to 191.20, uh, this is going to extend most probably all week. So we're watching that. IWM had a good session yesterday, still one of the weaker indices, is down seven cents. At 157.50, it needs to break into the 157.80 area. I'd say 158.50 area to really show that it's going to break out in that weekly resistance. And we're looking at gold, which was up a little bit before. Now it's down a point at 1272.4. Look at the dollar. The dollar really is one of the, the – it hasn't been a beneficiary of anything other than I think it's part of an economic – Look at the general, at the United States economy, the world economy is saying the dollar is strong, and that's why it's holding well. That's my opinion. 97.67 right now. Wow, if you can get to the 98s within a week, that's going to be very strong. Have a great day. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesaventa coming right up and then programming all day. Have a wonderful day.